Hello, welcome to a new session on TestNG framework. We will be designing a POM, a pro, uh, POM model here, a page object model, that's what they call it. It's not a, especially for a Selenium as such, but it's a design pattern, page object model design pattern. So we will be starting with uh, our framework and this is a project that I have created. We will be using TestNG and uh, we will be uh, developing our framework using TestNG. So I have included this uh, external library, uh, library Selenium Server Standalone 2.43 JAR and other libraries have already been uh, given by Eclipse. So we have a source folder over here and now we will be adding our TestNG dependency. So the way to add the test engine dependency is to go to help, install new software and just type in this site over here beust.com slash eclipse and then you will get this over here. Once you get this just click on it and say next. So it will start installing test engine into your eclipse. This is the best way you can configure test ng into eclipse so once this is done we will be working on the project setup okay so once you get this uh, just a minute yeah uh, so once uh, test ng uh, eclipse integration is done you will get this kind of uh, screen then on this screen you just type uh, you just click on next and then it will ask you for accepting the agreement you just click on accept and then you click finish so it will start installing the software for you and this will not take much time it will take couple of minutes so it is installing the software so let's wait till that is done okay once the installation completes it will show you a box like this uh, where it will ask you to restart Eclipse so we will click on yes and then now it will restart Eclipse and once it restarts we will just see what else we need Eclipse is restarting ok once Eclipse restarts we will go to our project we will right click on the project and we will go to properties and if you notice over here it states test ng it also gives output directory as slash test hyphen output and this indicates that test ng has been properly configured on our eclipse so the next thing to do is uh, we need we will be using google chrome over here and we will need certain things so the things we need will be firebug and firepath Firebug is for just a minute. Firebug is for identifying the proper elements on the web page, and Firepath is to get the absolute or relative path. Uh, mainly, we will be dealing with uh, relative path because absolute path is not a good idea when automating web browsers. So Chrome is starting, 
the system has become very slow as you can see over here there are many things installed okay it has restarted and if you notice over here there are two icons one is firebug and one is xpath helper so the way to get these are just go to google type firebug for chrome there you get firebug for chrome once you get this link go to this uh, link over here firebug light for google chrome and once it opens up we will see yeah so uh, this is this is a page for firebug and it says install firebug so you just click on this i have already done that in my uh, browser so i won't be installing it again same thing is for the firepath you go back to google firepath for chrome so if you go here xpath helper chrome web store then you can get the firepath it's not called firepath over here it is called xpath helper and it has been added to chrome already i have done that so once you do these things you will see this little one little bug and one little x mark over here so that's the indication that firebug and firepath are successfully configured in your chrome so that's all folks for uh, this session in the next session we will start identifying elements on newtools.demo.com that's the site we will be using for automating thank you